In this example, we are going to solve the following first order linear differential equation using the integrating factor technique. Okay, So we are given a first order linear differential equation. And over here to the right in this yellow box here is the uh, standard form of a first order linear differential equation. Okay, So the, the in this particular example, this differential equation is already in standard form okay if we had for example let's say 2 in front of the dy dx then we would have to divide through by 2 okay to put it in standard form and there will be some examples of that uh, later on so let's uh, start so the first step that we need to do okay is to determine the integrating factor okay Okay, so we're going to find the integrating factor. Okay, so to get the integrating factor, we're going to take e to the power of the integral of p. In this case, p is 2. P of x. So this will be 2. Okay, and we're going to integrate this with respect to x. So this is going to give us e okay, to the power of 2x. Okay, and then normally we would, we would write c here, but that's, uh, we don't have to do that here. Uh, eventually that c will be com combined with another constant at the end. Okay, so we'll just leave it as this. So this is our, this is our integrating factor. Okay. Okay, so the next step is to go ahead and apply this integrating factor. So we're going to multiply both sides of our linear differential equation by e to the 2x. Okay, so let's call this equation 1. So multiply both sides by or I should say multiply both sides of 1 by the integrating factor. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to have e to the power 2x times dy dx plus 2y equals to 0. Okay, so this is going to give us e to the 2x times dy dx plus e to the 2x times 2y equals to 0. Okay, so all we did was just distribute e to the 2x to each term. Okay. All right, so this is going to give us uh, something uh, really nice here. Okay. So it turns out that this is going to be the derivative of a product of two functions, okay? One function will be in terms of x, the other will be in terms of y. So that turns out to be, okay? Okay, so this is going to be the derivative of y times e to the 2x. Okay, and then we have zero on the right-hand side, okay? So let's just verify this, okay? Let's go ahead and take the derivative of y times e to the 2x and see if we get uh, this expression up here. Okay, so I'm going to do that over here. So I'm going to take the derivative with respect to x of y times e to the 2x. Okay, so we have the first term, which is y. So it's going to be uh, the first function. It's going to be y, so it'll just be y here times the derivative of the second function. So we're going to get times 2e to the 2x. Okay. Then we have the second part, which is e to the 2x. And then times the derivative of the first, derivative of y with respect to x. Okay. So rearranging the terms, okay, this is just, right, we get e to the 2x times dy dx 
plus 2y e to the 2x. Okay, so that's the same as we got here. Okay, this is the same here. Okay, all right, so this matches with this over here. Okay, so now we can proceed to step three. All right, so we're going to take this expression, okay, and integrate both sides with respect to x. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have the integral of dy dx of y times e to the 2x equals to the integral of 0. Okay, so the integral, well, we have the integral and in in the derivative, so that's going to cancel each other out. Okay, you take the derivative, then take the integral, so you get back to where you started from so we're going to end up getting this okay okay so we have y e to the 2x equals to the integral of zero is constant because when you take the derivative of constant it gives you zero so this is the same as y equals 2 okay we can divide both sides by e to the 2x and so we end up getting y equals 2 okay we can rewrite this as the constant times e to the minus 2x okay and this is valid for all of x for all real values okay okay so this is our right, so this is our solution okay all right and we can go ahead and check this okay we can check this check the result here okay so that is something that I, um, you know, something that you should do is to, to try and check a, res check a result, okay? So we can do that down here, okay? So just check result. So we were given dy dx plus 2y equals 0. Okay, so we need, so we're going to take, we have y, right? And so we're going to take the derivative of y. Okay, so this was our solution. And then taking the derivative, we're going to get minus 2 times c e to the minus 2x. Okay. All right, and so this is y prime is just dy dx, okay? Okay, so this is going to go into here, okay, and this is going to go into here. All right, so we have minus 2 ce to the minus 2x plus 2 times e to the minus 2x. So we want to see if this is equal to 0, okay, and there should be 2c. Okay, so 2c is from here, y is, y is equal to c times minus 2x, so we multiply by 2. So this does equal 0, okay? Okay, so that just confirms our solution, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that is it. That's, that's, uh, that's our solution, and we just uh, verified that. We just checked the result by plugging the solution back into the... Uh, into the original linear differential equation.